Hello everyone. I am Dr. Padma Tirtangatutte from Teach Connect. I am a quality education specialist. Welcome to yet another episode on mindful learning for teachers. In a video earlier, I have spoken about 10 different books which a teacher should read that will make the teacher's day, that will make a teacher's life too. Of which, let me give a brief summary about a book that is Teach Like a Champion 2.0. Teach Like a Champion 2.0 by Doug Lemo will give us an overall idea with 62 tools in it. That tools, let us divide it into a few chapters. The first one can be setting high academic expectation. Now, how can we set high ex academic expectations from students? First one is no opting out. We don't allow any student to give a wrong answer. We guide the student to give a correct answer. And a teacher should be bold enough to tell why the answer is wrong and why the answer was not given correctly. And the best answer only we accept. Then we ask the student to explain on why the student has this answer to deepen the understanding. The second part of it is planning that ensures academic achievement. If a teacher is planning something that will definitely lead to an achievement, the learning objectives can be planned backward. That means the learning objective is in place the specific learning outcome is in place. And from there, slowly we align ourselves back so that we know what the student is learning at every stage and what the teacher is going to teach. Expectations from each other are very clear. The directions are very clear. When we come to the third segment, how we can structure and deliver the lessons. All these points are written in Teach Like a Champion 2.0 by Doug Lemmo. The hook should be in place, that is the context where the lesson is leading to and how a teacher can break the big learning outcome into small ones and how is the assessment happening in the classroom. Is it only testing, pen, pen paper test? No, it should be done in a proper method in various multimodal assessment policies. And the fourth part of it, engaging the students in their lesson. That is, call every student randomly in the class. Make it an active engagement of students. Check for their understanding. Break down the question into small parts so that the student comprehends the lesson and gives back the understanding to you. Therefore, the teacher can reflect upon and improve on the learn. And the fifth point is, how strong the classroom culture is there, so strong the lesson would be delivered to the student. Repeating an activity until it meets the excellent level and expecting the students to understand the lesson properly for that. They should enter the classroom prior to the teachers attending or entering into the classroom. This should be the culture. Therefore, the learning pace has to be reflected upon. That is, learning pace has to be reflected means the teacher should check intermittently how the student is learning. And the sixth concept is building character and trust. Good behavior must be shown by the student as well as by the teacher. Specific and genuine praise should be made in the classroom or in the morning assembly or in the evening assembly. And a warm atmosphere and a strict firmness will only lead to a structured learning environment in the classroom. These points definitely will keep the student engaged and active learning can happen. The teacher can feel achieved. For that, the teacher has to read this book. The link for this book is pasted in the description box. You can download it or you can read it whenever you want. You can just browse chapter by chapter so that 
read at your own comfort and convenience and this will be a very good resource for all the teachers and the teachers to be also thanks for watching my video share it to somebody be a part of this quality improvement program at schools be a part of this mission of improving the quality of education at school thank you Thank you.